Well, the National Weather Service has confirmed a tornado did touch down in Delaware, not far over the Maryland state line. Happened during severe storms last night and caused extensive damage. Despite tornado watches and warnings, no tornadoes hit Maryland, but people are still cleaning up from the strong storms. And WJZ is live. Kimberly Eaton with a look at all that damage. Kimberly? And Mary, just within the last hour, the National Weather Service did upgrade that tornado near Laurel, Delaware to an EF2. And nearby areas of Maryland's eastern shore also saw significant wind damage. April showers toppled flowers in Roland Park overnight, leaving Eddie's grocery store employees to clean up spilled blooms off the sidewalk Monday morning as they and the rest of the state woke up to lingering damage from the weekend's severe storms. The blast of weather knocked down signs and left streets rain soaked in downtown Baltimore. In Pikesville, whipping wind sent waves of water from the road splashing onto sidewalks. Photos from the eastern shore capture some of the most extreme property damage in the state. In Federalsburg, daylight revealed toppled farm equipment and sections of destroyed fencing. 20 miles away, just across the state line in Laurel, Delaware, the rain and wind leveled buildings. The wave of dangerous weather swept from Maryland to Texas since, followed by rolling power outages that have kept BGE crews working to make repairs hours after the storm passed. And the National Weather Service is also now reporting one injury in Delaware, none so far in Maryland. Reporting live tonight, I'm Kimberly Eaton for WJZ.